The Dutch Brazilian Chamber of Commerce, in partnership with its member company Staffing Limitada, wishes to share the findings of Professor Alfredo Behrens, PhD by the University of Cambridge, by showing to all its members and friends the following short video based on his research on management in Samba schools. The full findings of Professor Behrens will become an online course, Management the Brazilian Way. In that course, addressed at foreigners, working with Brazilians, Professor Behrens argues that when Brazilians are allowed to get organized for work as they know it, they achieve high performance with happiness, as in a Samba school. Indeed, Professor Behrens spent two years interviewing Samba school members to figure out how they deliver such an extravagant and large carnival parade for no pay. Needless to say, the online course is richly illustrated, fun to watch and contains easy recognizable practical examples of eye-opening matters that may help or hamper corporate governance in Brazil. A recent study into the success rate of Dutch investments in Brazil, conducted by the Rotterdam University and the Brazilian Catholic University, clearly pointed out to the human factor as the most influential when it comes to return on investment. Dutchum already dedicates quite some editorial space to these matters in its Compass Guide, which is freely available via a request form that can be downloaded from its website. The online course by Professor Behrens, which complements the above findings, will soon become available online. Sponsorship options are still open and may determine if a fee will have to be charged or not. With sufficient sponsorships, Dutchum may content itself with spontaneous donations. The goal is to donate part of the funds raised to Cap Jovem with FIA Sao Paulo Brazil. Cap Jovem is an initiative by FIA, the business school Professor Behrens' leadership professor at. Cap Jovem has already trained over 500 deserving and needy late teenagers to succeed in the competitive university entry exam in Sao Paulo. Cap Jovem provides full tuition, food and transport, plus pocket money to support the education of these youngsters for a full year. 96% have been admitted to the university already. I am proud to introduce the following summary of Professor Behrens' online course geared towards training foreign executives to work with Brazilians. High performance inspired in Samba schools. Okay. The roots of the cultural differences between Brazil and the USA, for example, lies in the different streams of colonization. North America was colonized mostly by Northern Europeans, whose ethos prevailed there. On the other hand, Brazilians were colonized mostly by peoples living close to the European South and East of the Mediterranean Rim. In addition to Mediterranean colonizers, Brazil received eight African slaves for each one taken to the USA. By the way, a large share of the slaves were sold to the Portuguese by Dutch trading companies. In the western part of the Northern Hemisphere, there is a penchant for individuality, objectivity, self-reliance and achievement orientation, which are reflected in today's mainstream management. On the other hand, Brazilians are more oriented towards groups, towards quality of life and the mystical, much more than de-enchanted peoples of a northern European bringing are. This does not mean that Brazilians at large may not be high achievers, but that the drivers towards excellence might not be something as practical as money is. On the other hand, Brazilians may more readily adhere, for no pay, to a cause of mystical dimensions, like winning a carnival parade. These differences in cultural orientations are mostly neglected in mainstream management, as is applied in Brazil today. This brings disappointment with the performance of Brazilians. The same neglect of the differences are expressed amongst Brazilians in generalized unhappiness, high turnover and foot dragging at work. On the other hand, when Brazilians are allowed to get organized to work in a way natural to them, as in a samba school, they are able to deliver a world-class show 
in the data grid and for no pay. A carnival parade in Brazil is a fantastic world-class show involving over 3,000 dancers. They parade singing and dancing to a well-rehearsed choreography. Floats must be built and costumes stitched together. Yet each parader performs during only 15 minutes at the carnival parade. That Brazilians devote so much effort during a whole year for only 15 minutes of glory parading should trigger a manager's curiosity because both samba schools and businesses are goal-oriented organizations constrained by resources. One works much better than the other. Samba schools work wonders while business models do not. Surely there must be something else and there is. In the first place, a samba school recruits by affinities. In mainstream management this would be called recruiting by internal referral. Group members bring in other members. In a society that puts a high premium in liking the people you have to work with, hiring by affinities ensures a high degree of cohesiveness in the team, which would be wasted if members were brought together by selecting outsiders through their CVs. Secondly, this same group mindset favors accepting leaders who are seen as members of the group, not as outsiders. This recommends that group members are given a high say on who is to lead them. Heads of subsidiaries appointed from Detroit or Rotterdam are unlikely to become effective managers of Brazilians. Thirdly, leading at Samba School provides the real litmus test of leadership. Leading with no formal authority. There may be as many as 30 wing leaders who lead about 150 people each. The span of command is over 10 times what one sees at corporations. This calls for autonomy for the wing leaders and their groups, but also requires coordination in what effectively is a very flat organization. This is why the leader of a samba school needs to address over 300 collaborators in meetings which take place after work hours. Leading like this requires a strong ability to seduce because those who are unsatisfied with a wing leader may drift to other wings. And because they join wings in groups, they might leave a wing in droves. At corporations this would be called a high turnover, which of course lowers productivity. In fourth place, because all moonlight they meet mostly on weekends, opportunities for feedback are few. This is why feedback needs to be instantaneous and it may be impatiently given. But it is accepted because the high goal alignment that is achieved. Still, to be effective, feedback requires the knack for addressing people in their own language. Despite the substantial difference in social backgrounds and ethnicity at a samba school. This diversity is much larger than a subsidiary of a multinational where there is only a withering chance to meet an Afro-Brazilian in any position of authority. This is also why headquarters unknowingly make a constrained choice when appointing a manager in place to head a subsidiary in Brazil. Managers in place are, by and large, outsiders themselves. In fifth and last place, nobody is expelled from a samba school. People are recycled. When no longer apt for a task like dancing or pushing a float during the parade, they are moved on to something they can also do well, even if it were only sitting down and watching, which is as much as some veterans can manage. This is how a samba school becomes a family to its members. But the venerated presence of the veterans serves a purpose. It sends a strong signal to the younger ones. We trust you to deliver your best and you can trust that you will always have a dignified place here. This is harder to blend into a conventional management, but it can at least be tried. For instance, by expanding temporary manpower when in expansion cycles and thus avoiding firing them later. The alternative is worse. One that tries to make you believe the corporation is a family where, nonetheless, you're constantly reminded you must deserve being there. That does not work with Brazilians. 
The short message is, if you stop managing Brazilians as foreigners in their own land, you're likely to do much better, as a samba school does, delivering a fantastic show with happiness, though there is hardly any pain. Alcançar